Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, or GDPG, or We Are Awesome Watch Us All The Time. This is the show where we play games while talking game design. I'm playing Vagrant Story. Chris is watching me, because he's a chump. I'm a chump. Alright, so you here's the thing. You can attack the boxes. I can attack the boxes. Well, bam Now that I can attack the boxes, I can pick... I can... I can pick this box up. <laughs> Sometimes. Puzzles, am I right? Ugh. And then... So could you actually screw yourself there and not be able to solve this puzzle by breaking both boxes? I could leave the room and then come back. Can I actually? Yeah, I could leave the room because this <laughs> this, this unmovable box will, will be able to get me back. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. That, so I've done this, and then I do uh, this. That's such then... an easy like level design flaw to to make. That's why you make focus testers. I'm gonna say this right here. Pull the lever. Yeah, why would you not pull the lever? This doesn't happen often. I've never seen this lever ever again. I haven't seen it since, and it's never given me this type of choice well, the, before. The best part, too, is that it's using the dialogue bubbles. Yeah. So it's like it feels important. And this, on the other hand, is common. The door's closing. You've only got... Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I made it through. I made it through, guys. Otherwise, so the door timed? closes, and then I have to go back and repull the lever. Really? Why? Do they do that to teach you that later on? That shit will happen. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I figured. But, like, is that a good challenge later on in the game? No, it's just, it's all annoying. It doesn't belong. <laughs> We've gone over this. <laughs> I guess that's fair. <laughs> that's not even a puzzle. That's just, like, a dick platformer mechanic. <laughs> yeah. It goes back to that everything is timed. Papa? So that, boy, you saw there was that white figure in front that you mean the one that was monochrome like we are right now exactly did we have a kid or is that us who knows oh dang he looks kind of like us ash ashley what's his name ashley riot yeah everyone keeps calling him riot so when you and you call him ashley so now i'm like oh, wait it's ashley R riot but I don't think you're understanding. But this. what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Alright, where am I going? Uh, okay. So, speaking of the level design, well, I, I guess, like, how do you feel about it? Do you think. I, I feel like a lot of this is really just the same thing, um, and the only thing that really makes it different is. I guess right now the puzzles because even the, even when we were fighting things it was like oh kind of flat ground with a little bit of platforming eh. so that is one of my major complaints about the game is in general a lot of it feels a little grindy um the levels the puzzles can feel a little grindy like I basically mm -hmm. just did the exact same puzzle I hit a box which allowed me to pick the boxes up and move the boxes elsewhere to then jump into an area I couldn't go before. The only difference is this time there wasn't a lever, so technically this puzzle was easier. So yeah, that, that does seem a little like. Why is this here? Also, why why counter do they counter flow? Uh, uh, so ah uh, yeah, pointless level design works. Is so yeah. We talked about this during the Zestereo playthrough too. It's just like places you can go for no benefit, just you waste player's time yeah that happened a lot in uh hyperlight drifter too it did but you know what more at than the end i of the, expected more than yeah but at the end of the day i was still like it was satisfying because at least i was like oh i went here and there was nothing here i can check this off the list i know there's nothing here and i think that's it was why important it was because the game was explorative exactly yeah. and in this case there's not nothing like that it's very like each room is very straightforward mm -hmm. is there a challenge in front of you surpass it if not keep going because yeah. there's no I don't have to go around checking crates or anything, which is kind of good because actually that bothers me. Old games used to have this thing where you just walk around button mashing, right? You just yeah, like yeah. You'd be press like, in anything the X could button, be searchable. Anything at any could point. be searchable. Is there something in this box or how about this wall over here? There's, there's not that in this game. You would probably not like the King's Quest games. <laughs> That's fair. Especially, I've been playing the first King's Quest game, and you can literally examine everything, and you're like. Anything could hold the secret to all of my answers, uh, all of my questions. Yeah, I would not be a fan of that. I love it, though. <laughs> it's, I, You know, I always thought that the original King's Quest was one of those games that everyone's like, it's so unforgiving and it's so hard. And yes, it is really hard. 
but it's actually a lot easier and more fun than I thought it would be. That's Maybe that's just because harder games have come out since then and they've changed things around. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously I haven't beaten it, so <laughs> I could be talking out of my ass right now for all that. That is fair. Oh, another treasure chest, and we got some cure potions and cure, cure bulbs. Bulb? It's a bulb. It's a bulb a, of a herbs. Bulb of I, I of I've herbs. Known. But we got our thing, so when, uh, oh man, like treasure chest in a safe one. This I feels wonder like a what boss could be gonna... coming up next. Like, find out. We're, they want us to be prepared for something. I'm not going to be happy about this. Oh, we get to find out the source of the earthquakes. Mm, no. <laughs> we get to not. find out the source of these quakes. Yeah. I wonder what a it could be. No. Yes. Probably not. Alright, so uh I think he's a beast. So right now, if I had like the very first time I fought him, I remember I was like, ah, 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 ah. ah <laughs> I, mean, I would be too. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, cool, I'm gonna change my Alright, okay, he's not close enough. Ah. Whoa. Okay, he's not close enough. Ah, uh, okay, now he's close enough. <laughs> Shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head! Alright, so <laughs> now's a good time to talk about the risk mechanic. So if you see right below my health, mm -hmm. there is... Oh, he has as much reach as I do Ooh. with his arms. So, uh... Oh, come back. Okay, there we go. So, I have... Ah, oh, crap. That risk mechanic, as that goes up... Mm -hmm. Um... By the way, the quick I you know, being able to... See, that's really nice. I'm really glad nice. they have that. Um, so yeah, there's a risk mechanic, and as I attack or use defensive chain abilities, which will come up later, um, the uh, my risk goes up, and when my risk goes up, the uh, I have a less chance, of, less likely chance of hitting, and a less or do less damage. Okay. And the idea is, you are a risk breaker. Your character, no matter the the idea of the concept behind a risk breaker is, they can be put in any situation, and as long as they never lose their cool, they'll survive through any scenario. Huh. That is the concept of a risk breaker. As long as you don't lose your cool, you can survive through anything. That's kind of cool. And that's how the game is like. That's meant how to, they treat it. That's how they treat it. Um, because as you do stuff, your character panics more. And as they panic more, they become less effective. So is it just any action can kind of increment that risk? Factor? Every attack and every time I use a chain attack or, um, or a... Thing. So in a way, a it actually chain. encourages the player to be as efficient as possible. Yeah, if you just go wailing on them, just like chaining, because you, you can do that. You can get good at this game and be like, oh man, I just chained like 15 times. And then you look at your risk and be like, oh, my risk's at 50. No wonder I wasn't hitting him all those times I was successfully chaining. Yeah. So then, is there a way to reduce your risk mid-combat? Yes, there are um, Vera bulbs or Vera... It's it's basically like I have cure bulbs and then I have bear root. So there's cure root, bear root, and bear root oh, okay. is the item that lowers risk. So really, at the end of the day, risk is just sort of another stat that you have to pay attention to. But um, notice how now this weapon is doing 60 while the bow is only doing 30. Ah, Thousa. Nice. I'm gonna keep smacking you in the head. You know, as oh, interesting as a boss of as interesting as he is as a boss, I feel like this. Combat wasn't as interesting as it could have been. I no. mean, I guess it is still an RPG at the end of the day, so I, you know, what more should I be expecting? I don't think it's bad. The beginning of the game is a little dull. And, like, it's pretty, and, well, at least at the time, it was oh, wow. pretty, and it pulls you into it. Um, after this fight, everything gets 10 times more interesting. So, up until this point, oh, so oh, this is, is that basically. A permanent bonus? Yeah. So, Whoa. basically, I this is how you level up. You get small incremental bonuses. Hey, look, I got 2 MP. So now <laughs> instead of having 50 MP, I have 52 MP. And that just shows you how little you actually get powerful as time goes away. Yeah, no get kidding. Ooh, you can get the Ooh, you can And I got some grimoires. Heal nice. and degenerate. So now you have spells. Now I have spells. Nice. So how spells work in this is basically I go to, I go to, it's an item and mm -hmm. I use it. So I use heal on myself, and then after this, I know this bow heal. It's as simple as that. Oh. The idea is Go that ahead. there I'm using the symbol, and for some reason, when I use the symbol on me, I learned the spells, and they actually kind of explain why. 
later on. It turns out that Ashley is a badass, but not because he was a bona fide born badass. It's just because he's kind of a badass. <laughs> and just smart enough to learn from from his those training grimoires. as a risk breaker. Yeah. Uh, can I? Yeah, treasure chest. Uh. So I almost wonder. I mean, kind of going back to that boss battle. It sort of turned into a turn-based <laughs> battle. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess what what do you think could have been done? Maybe we can make this the question of the day because it is the end it's of the episode. Before we ask that question, I just want to point out. Look at that lighting effect there. <laughs> that that billboard particle oh, effect. Yeah. Uh, I guess not Actually, when I looked at it, I was like, you know what? I'm glad you tried. That's what went through my head. I'm like, good good for you for trying. <laughs> and you know what? Nobody else did, so... You know what? Yeah, I agree. For PlayStation, you didn't try that shit. That wasn't a thing you did. But yeah, people just were like, and we're going to simulate lights with our textures. Hey, look at this. This floor, this has light on it. Uh, <laughs> and it's animated, no less. Yeah. So, yeah. Good yeah, for them, right? I agree. Yeah. So let's go and ask that question of the day, because stuff's about to happen. Yes, so... While I don't think the boss battle is necessarily bad, I don't want to complain about it. No, it was, um, it was, it was stupid simple. Yeah, it was, it was simple. So, what do you guys think could have been done to that battle to better utilize the existing mechanics of the game? Because we have this free-roaming character in this, like, real-time-ish action me mechanics. That's a good point. They just teach you how to use boxes, they teach you how to move things around, and then yet the, mm -hmm. I didn't have to move around. In fact, it's, it's bad to move around because then you can't hit you, his you, head. You're, yeah, you, that and your your action ratio is, is your action economy decreases if you're because spending you're, time moving around. It, it, precisely. If you're moving, you're not really attacking. So So I guess, what would you do to that, that boss battle? To, I guess just make it more interesting. Huh, absolutely. That's a good question. I, I like I like that. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, buddy. Do you guys. Uh, hey, vote. Do the thing. Cool. All right. See you next time. Cool.